A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Yeah. So do you want to ask the first question? Okay, right, yeah, let's get right into it. So, what do you like about math? Um, I'm just interested in math because when I was one year her old, her, I used to watch my dad tell her the problems and I was curious about it. So, uh, when he left home, I tried to solve them on my own. So, uh, that's why I saw her math to this day, and um, I am known for it. It's really impressive, Jordan. So, do you like math? You've just finished writing your first book. Do you like reading as well? Uh, yeah, I sort of do like reading because um, I, I, I like. Gotcha, nonfiction is a really solid group. Yeah, because it teaches you information. So you recently also got a chance to meet with President Obama. What was that like? Uh, I didn't actually meet with him, but he gave me a letter. He sent me a, he sent me a letter. Uh, I don't think any town ever has before gained a received a letter from former president. So uh, it's a, a very remarkable achievement for me and I feel excellent about it. I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. So you just wrote a book about a world without terrorism. Why did you write that? Whatever you are. 
the life of experiences of many children of Rohingya forced me to um, write this book. Um, how can I solve math and science problems which I am known for when, when a Nobel laureate and also my Myanmar leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, is responsible for the, for the death of many growing us as a specially, especially 40 day old Abdul Matu, whom I call my second brother. That's a very good question to ask. Is there more to your story? Uh, uh, what to my story? Is there anything else you want to add to your story? This kid is great. Well done. That was a beautiful answer. So, if you don't mind, can we end with one more question for you? A lot of you will. 15 million lives have a greater value than 1.7 billion. Loveliness increases, it will never pass into nothingness, but still will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Therefore on every morrow are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth, spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and o'er-darkened ways made for us.